Appendicitis is inflammation of the appendix, a small appendage extending from the cecum in the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. The exact function of the appendix is unclear, although it may play a role in the immune system by harboring beneficial bacteria. Appendicitis can affect individuals of any age but is most common between 5 and 45 years, with a slightly higher incidence in males. Key symptoms include generalized abdominal pain that localizes to the lower right quadrant, rebound tenderness, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. Appendicitis begins with an obstruction of the appendix by a tumor, infection, or hardened feces. After the appendix becomes obstructed, pressure increases inside the appendix and occludes small blood vessels. The appendix also fills with mucus, leading to further distension and reduced blood flow to the appendix, ultimately causing necrosis. Bacterial overgrowth also occurs. If untreated, the appendix may rupture within 24 to 36 hours, causing peritonitis and inflammation of the abdominal cavity lining or abscess formation. Common diagnostic tests for appendicitis include lab tests and imaging. A complete blood count often shows elevated white blood cells, though normal counts do not rule out appendicitis. C-reactive protein levels may also be elevated, indicating inflammation. Imaging tests are used to confirm the diagnosis, with CT scans being the most accurate. Treatment for appendicitis involves surgical removal of the appendix to prevent rupture. Laparoscopic surgery is commonly used for uncomplicated cases, but in situations where complications are present, an open appendectomy may be performed. Patients are kept NPO before surgery to reduce aspiration risk. Intravenous fluids and preoperative antibiotics are administered to prevent infection, with continued antibiotics administered if complications arise. Postoperative care may involve a percutaneous drain if there has been a rupture or abscess. Nursing interventions focus on managing pain, preventing complications, and preparing clients for surgery. Preoperative care includes completing pre-op checklists and providing emotional support. Postoperatively, nurses assess bowel sounds before resuming oral intake and monitor the surgical site for infection. Ambulation is encouraged to prevent complications like deep vein thrombosis or pneumonia and to promote bowel function. Evaluating the effectiveness of nursing interventions involves assessing whether patient outcomes such as pain reduction, absence of infection, and normal hydration status are met. Care plans are adjusted to ensure optimal patient recovery.